Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Joan Lippis or hashtag Joni in Jerusalem, welcoming you to lunchtime prayer for Israel. Well, we're ending the week and I hope you have been challenged, exhorted, and encouraged by the signs that we are seeing all around us. We saw their, their previous historical context in the past, what's going on now, and we recognize Yeshua is giving us warnings for the future that we may be prepared and prepare others. So we're now in the sign of great signs from heaven. Now, although this is another sign that will be part of the tribulation, that's the next part, we include it here because it was part of Yeshua's prophetic warning in answer to the apostles. And we're in Luke chapter 21, verse, still in verse 11, when Yeshua says, And there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights, which we talked about yesterday, and great signs from heaven. Now, the Hebrew prophet Joel warned about these great signs and also God's promise to deliver those who would call upon him in faith. That's why it's so important that we do this series. And we're reading now from Joel chapter 2, verses 30 through 32. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. That's why we want to pray and pray and pray and share and explain these prophecies. We don't know who the remnant is, so you just keep, keep reaching out. Now, this prophecy, Joel's prophecy, was repeated by Peter on the day of Pentecost, or the day of Shavuot. And so we're reading from Acts chapter 2, verses 19 through 21. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's, he's just repeating. You see, the prophets, the, the prophecies, never went out of style. It is so important. You know, people say, well, I'm only going to read the New Testament. Well, you're not going to understand the New Testament unless you go back to the beginning. Fundamentals of faith. Genesis to Revelation. We continue reading. That Peter repeated Joel's prophecy reveals God's heart of mercy and grace to continually warn Israel of impending doom. It is likewise a warning to us for whom the day of the Lord is so much closer. So we want to pray for Israel to call on the name of the Lord in her fear and confusion. You know, I've lived here for 22 years and I have to recognize and I have to share with you that Israelis are so used to catastrophe, it's very unusual for them to be afraid. But they're beginning to crack because they don't understand it. This is so far beyond. In the past, every time there's been a war, they'll say, well, the IDF is going to help us. And they do have faith in the God of Israel. But they refuse to listen to the warnings. There comes a time when God says, enough, you've got to repent from your sins. I want to save you. I want to deliver you. I want to redeem you. 
but there are conditions. Don't die in your sin. And I say that to Jew and Gentile alike. Don't die in your sin. I remember when God said to me about a, a real tragedy. Everybody was saying it was a tragedy. It was when the Columbia blew up, the spaceship, the Columbia blew up. And he said to me, Joni, the tragedy is not what happened and that they all lost their lives, but they died in their sin. You want to be forgiven by God? Do it now, because once you breathe your last, it's too late. Oh, God is so good. He gives us a way of, of being redeemed. So good. And that's why we do what we're doing. And I am so encouraged and so thankful when you take the time to connect with me. Let me know what you think about these, these topics. Tell me about when you're able to share it with a friend and see what God is going to do in their life. I, I so appreciate your partnership through prayer through comments, and of course, through your support. It's so, so appreciated. All of which you can find on our website under the heading, Connect. So with that, I do say, the Hitra Ot, Shalom from Jerusalem. <laughs>